and uh, the expo push uh, and raise Milan big time about real estate, about uh, the number of tourists that grow amazing after the expo. <laughs> Uh, I'm today with uh, Filippo, we just finished a fantastic event that, Thank you, uh, Dennis. that Filippo uh, made and uh, I have uh, some questions uh, to Filippo because he's based in Milan and uh, they had uh, a very big event that is about to happen uh, in Dubai. Uh, but before we start, Filippo, can you please uh, introduce yourself? Of course. First of all, uh, let me thank you for uh, to coming to my event over here in Milan. For me, it was a pleasure thank for you having so you over here. And of course, my name is Filippo Raffaele. I'm the founder of Realtor Advisor, which is a, a new startup about luxury real estate with a very extend, extended network in cities like London, Miami, New York, of course, Dubai through you. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank you also for this reason. And uh, we are a young guys that we are all together to, for, to be a team and to win together. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure uh, for me. So, uh, Filippo, as you might know, uh, like there is a lot of hype about e Expo in Dubai. Uh, honestly speaking, I don't really use Expo in, uh, in my pitch. Like uh, you guys have seen my channel already for many years and uh, you will not find uh, any video when I'm saying that uh, like I'm a big fan of Expo. But uh, this trip changed my mind. And I want to ask uh, Filippo, because uh, you are one of the person who influenced <laughs> me. So you had uh, an expo here. Uh, can you tell me what were the expectations of expo and what was the reality? Okay, over here in Milan in 2015, as you know, we had uh, the expo. Our expo was about the food, mm -hmm. but uh, we are very happy because expo bring to Milan another sense of uh, everything. Uh, they invest a lot of money, our government invests a lot of money and uh, the expo push uh, and raise Milan big time about real estate, about uh, the number of tourists that grow amazing after the expo. I think that right now uh, Milan is fighting versus Rome for having uh, the number of tourists. You know, Rome is the capital of Italy, we have history there, but Milan after expo arrived to this level. I see. Uh, so um, after the expo, you got more tourists and it's as well reflected on the real estate price. You, you exactly. Mentioned. Correct. Uh, after expo, we, uh, we, feel, we feel and we felt uh, how the real estate raised up, uh, believe me, big time. Significantly. Big time. Uh, have you been in Dubai before? I've been in Dubai and uh, I have to say that it's a very nice city. Mm -hmm. It's very funny. And uh, sadly, as you know, I came there the last time in May. It was too hot for the beach anyway. But uh, I have a very, very, very good remember of Dubai because it's a uh, very, very, very nice city. Mm -hmm. So knowing that uh, uh, such event as Expo will come to Dubai, and by the way, uh, not each Expo is the same. There are some small expos, as basically you had in Milan. Okay. And the one that we have in Dubai, it's a bigger one. I believe it's every, like, 20 years, maybe something, something like that. Some, something like that. Yeah. So in Dubai, it will be way bigger. So, Filippo, what do you think uh, Expo will give uh, to to Dubai? I think that Expo can give to Dubai the push and about uh, real estate, about tourism more than Dubai has right now. Even if Dubai is already in another level, I think that Expo will put Dubai to another level again. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, Filippo, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, guys, you can find uh, Filippo. I will leave uh, the links to his social media in, thank in you the very description much. to the video. And uh, thank you for sharing your experience uh, here as the resident of Milan and what happened after the expo. I was really surprised. Thank, thank you. you very much. And thank we'll you, you very much. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.